What's up guys, Trevor Hunter here with Dirt Bike Test. Today we're out here at Kawea Creek MX riding a pretty special bike. This is a Husqvarna uh, 300 two-stroke that Jay Clark recently re-picked up. Um, he's actually the first owner and now the fifth owner, which where is the uh, number 15 comes in. Um, it's Jay, he does a lot of bike builds. He always does something unique for every bike. And uh, today we have quite a few changes that I am really interested to ride. Um, so Jay, tell us about it. Well, so as you said, it's a TX300, and I, I really love these bikes from 17 to 19, the KTM and the Husky versions, carb rated. And we would run different carbs, and this has the Electron. We had the older Electron, and then we decided with this new build, let's put the Billet one on, their newer one. And so we, we tossed that on, and I did compare it back to back, not on a dyno, but on my street dyno, and it felt pretty good. So that was really fun to be able to do. Did that before we did a top end. We put a new top end in it. And as you see, it's really a cool story to find a bike, and actually it was owned by my buddy, and then he sold it to a guy in Huntington Beach who sold it to a guy in Pasadena, and then I bought it two months ago, and now fixed it up just in the last two months to this, and it was pretty good bike that back then, but I just kept on having fresh ones, because nothing's better than a fresh two-stroke, right? So yep. it was really fun. So we had a fun time building this back up, and so I, I threw a lot of our good company's parts on it. The, the bike only has about 150 hours on it total, so the crank is still good. So we went ahead and did the top end. Tom Morgan had already cut the head previously, so that it's got added some compression to it, and that gives it some good bark. We, we're not building it up as a race bike, but more as a trail bike, single track stuff, and so added on a lot of the parts that we like to use. I had some really cool wheels. I had a cool set of wheels that I'd use on a motocross build. So I had Faster USA switch the rear out to an 18 inch rear. So we put an 18 on this cool set of Faster USA wheels with the Dunlop gummy tire, 81 front. So kind of, kind of our cool setup. We were on a 1451 uh, gearing combo with a Pro X chain of sprockets. And so it's a one taller rear sprocket than stock on those yeah. bikes. Uh, so a little bit better bottom can carry the gears a little bit better. We like those. Uh, the stock kickstands are pretty decent, but the Pro Moto Billet one's really strong and, yeah. and the kickstands are uh, really good for trail riding. Even though I'm a moto guy at heart, uh, when you're out trail riding, nothing's better than having a kickstand, as you know. Yeah. It, it's pretty awesome. So uh, IMS Big Tank, we didn't go with the natural one, and I'll probably regret that someday, but it definitely looks cool. It looks cool. Yeah, yeah that's the main reason. Yeah. So as long as, my, my theory is, as long as I bring someone on the ride who has a natural tank, then we're good. Yeah. Because I'll use him as my reference, yeah. right? Because I usually will use more fuel than them because I'm doing more hill climbs. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then ICW strengthened up our radiators, FMF pipe and silencer. We got the big, long, like, Canon silencer on here. And what that does, it's like this Erzberg one, they called it. They, they made it for the extreme enduro guys to give them that linear, you know, torquey power down low and kind of smooth, broad power. So that's what was, those things were really good for. Uh, back when I originally owned this thing, we had a Baja Designs headlight on there. And then since then we had Moto Minded, modified it for their deal. And then we have their bracket up here, their super mount bracket, which is really cool. And then Golfer made us a front brake line that's like an XCW line. So it clears the, the front headlight mask really well. And of course, ODI Champ bars, I really like the flight bars without a crossbar pad on the off-road bikes. Although yep. on the motocross bikes, I tend to like the SFT ones. Yep. Uh, but have those on here with enduro engineering handguards. And I like wraparound handguards for my trail rides because I'm still i I'm really short and I'm not very good. <laughs> I so I do, I do fall over a little bit and it's nice to be able to drop it and not worry about breaking something. Yep. And then the big thing on suspension would be Race Tech. We did a, their con spring conversion, which is a single spring conversion, which is kind of a cheaper option for guys. And we, we're, we're finding, we've done a few bikes over the years with this and really liking it. Good performance and not having to deal with the air settings. I really like that. Yeah. And then the uh, rest of the, the mods, pretty. we went with a really unique look with some flow plastic from UFO. Yep. And I, I really like these yellow, this flow yellows. And I think it's because I'm 90s at heart, like, you know, late 80s, 90s. And it's just really, I like it. And no one knows what kind of bike you have. Yep. It's, it's kind of cool. And Decal Works made us up some graphics to match with our, you know, Weisco on there and all of our companies that we work with. And with the clutching with Recluse, we went, a lot of people... They say, you got a recluse in there. And they think there's only one recluse. It's yeah. like ketchup, right? Yeah, like, yeah. Whatever. So, no, recluse makes uh, non-auto clutches. They're known for auto clutches, which are really good. Yeah. A lot of guys like them. We have the torque drive in there, which has just got additional plates and gives it a really good feel and durability is really good. So, that we've been running them on a lot of bikes lately and have and we're really happy with the performance wise there on the the recluse clutch and then just a lot of good protection bits and some really cool little bits from works connection and some of the other brands we work with a lot and uh really fun bike i think you're gonna enjoy checking this thing out and you guys are gonna have fun riding it yeah no, i'm looking forward to it um like the gummy tire i'm really looking forward to that i've never tried that 
Um, the Latron carb, something different. I've ridden one one time. It didn't have the best experience, but I think it was kind of set up not perfect. So I'm really looking forward to that. And then the spring conversion forks. Um, it's one more uh, item of interest for me and to see how it performs out in the trails. So yeah, I'm going to go take this for a spin, um, ride around all day, and we'll we'll see how it works. Awesome. I think you're going to enjoy it. I forgot to mention we have some good P3 pieces on there, the yep. pipe guard and skid plate uh, and, and scar foot pegs. Wide pe Those pegs have been on there for four or five years, yeah. and they're still looking pretty dang good. Yeah. I just left them on there, and they, they all look great. And Enduro, Enduro Engineering makes a slave guard there, yep. and that's been on there for four or five years. And so it's, a lot of these pieces have been on there a long time. Of course, when I got it back, I flushed all the brake fluid and clutch fluid. You know, made, made everything kind of like new that we could, greased yeah. all the linkage, all those things, steering stem, greased all that kind of stuff. And surprisingly, didn't have to replace any bearings or just greased everything up. Yeah, the bike's looking Sano. Um, we definitely won't be, you won't be lost looking for us out on the trail with these plastics, <laughs> but uh, yeah, should be a good time. All right, man, have fun. That's a wrap. We just rode uh, this 2017 TX300 uh, out here at Kuya and conditions were epic and I'd say the bike was, was right there too. Overall Jay did a really good job as usual. Um, a lot of bling on this bike but there's also a lot of function on this bike which I think is important. Um, starting with the motor, the motor was phenomenal. I mean, it was super easy to ride down low. You could torque it. It's like a torque monster like any 300 is. Um, that Electron car was really, really smooth down low and then kind of as you revved up a little bit it kind of fired up in like a typical two-stroke what do you think jeff yeah i agree for me that was the first time riding an electronic carb and um you know i heard a lot of different stories for it but it, it was dialed jay did a great job uh, like you mentioned there's plenty of torque down low um, and same thing the bike pulled really good on the mid towards high yeah i uh i clutched it a couple times just to get the revs up and kind of a little more racy because i'm a racer um and i almost looped out once or twice like there's tons of power but if you wanted to lug it in that tight single track and the rocks is super smooth and easy to ride and I mean, you could roll third gear when really you should be in first gear like it's torqued forever so that was really cool um yeah i kind of did the opposite i tried it down low yeah and just like third gear real slow through the corners and it was amazing how the bike just pulled the torque through it so yeah. it was awesome yeah really good motor um the pipe the pipe sounded really good smooth power just yeah really couldn't ask for for what this bike's purpose is for being a trail bike um you really couldn't ask for much more out of it. Let's move on to the suspension. Uh, the Race Tech, the single spring conversion kit actually worked pretty good. Uh, I've never ridden with anything like this. I've done cone valves, I've done KYB inserts, um, I've done regular air forks as well, but I've never done the Race Tech single spring conversion. And overall, it felt pretty comfortable. Yeah, that was the first for me too. Um, I liked it a lot better than an air fork setup, yep. you know, my personal setting. Um, but yeah, overall, I felt like the forks were really close. Um, obviously we're quite a bit different in weight and height and stuff, but overall it's pretty impressive. Yeah, bike held super balanced overall and uh, didn't really, didn't kick, didn't deflect. Um, kind of just soaked, sucked up a little chop in the rocks and then it's quite a few whooped out trails and stuff. And if you got more aggressive, it actually worked even better, I felt. Um, so yeah, the suspension overall worked good, bike was balanced and just everything felt like it worked together, which was good. Yeah. Bike had a very neutral feeling to it. You know, it was very yeah. comfortable right when you get it on the bike. Yeah. It do, like you said, it didn't act anything crazy. You know, maybe a couple of little clicker adjustments just for personalizing it. But other than that, the bike was really good. Yeah. Moving to the handling, same thing. It's typical 302 stroke, super light feeling. Um, you get in that tight stuff, you can flick it around. It doesn't have that engine braking and that, that heavy motor feel like a 450 or even like a 350 might. Um, just super light, torquey, and agile, and yeah, just fun to ride. Yeah, exactly. I was just impressed on how well the bike was balanced at low speed. Yeah. You know, we did a lot of tight cornering and things like that, and the bike it didn't do anything weird. Um, standing up on the bike was just, I don't know, to me it was one of the best balanced bikes I think I've ridden yeah. on slow speed like that. Yeah, now everything everything checks out in this bike. Um, we had the, the gummy tire on the AT81EX, and man, that thing hooks up. Um, you go on the rocks, you go on logs, whatever, and even the, the regular 
hard packed or um, it hooks up really well. I go over here, I can try to uh, get myself stuck on a log and kind of how it should, it kind of pulled me out of it. Even though I was high centered on the log, it just kind of, you grip it and it just goes. Whereas a normal tire kind of you just spin, spin, spin and maybe hook up this, you spin for a second and then boom, you're hooked up and you're unstuck. And like Jay was saying, it kind of, it makes you 10, 15, 20% better rider out in the trail. It just makes everything that much easier. And yeah, it's just super, uh, super impressive. And first for me, but I was really impressed with that. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you anymore. I, I have never rode with one either. And um, it was almost like a cheater tire, you yeah. know? It, it, was, it was awesome, worked well. Yeah. Everything else, really good. Um, the clutch, clutch pull was really, really smooth. Um, it didn't feel so on off like a normal KTM Husky hydraulic clutches. I felt like it had a little more modulation in it, which I liked a lot. Um, so like recluse torque drive, it felt pretty good. And yeah, just overall the bike is phenomenal, really. I didn't think about that until you said that. Yeah, the clutch definitely was way smoother than like the yeah. newer model. Um, KTMs and such. It was it was very smooth. It was yeah. awesome. Yeah. Overall, we're really impressed with this bike. Um, couldn't really couldn't think of much we would I would also do. Maybe a little softer seat for doing dual sport rides. Um, it's a little hard, more moto racy kind of style. But long days, it could get uncomfortable. But other than that, really, there's not a not a whole lot I would do differently with this bike. The braking was really good too. Brakes, the front yeah. brake worked awesome. Rear brake worked great. Yep. Um, gearing was seemed real close. Yep. You know, for everything we did. Yep. Um, I thought everything was pretty spot on. Yeah. Overall, really good bike. We go trail riding, even do like some enduro racing or some slow, slower speed Grand Prix racing. Uh, this bike would be really comfortable, but for its intended purposes, go trail riding and dual sport. Uh, it's a really, really good package all the way around. Absolutely. So yeah, stay, thanks for tuning in. Um, stay tuned, Dirt Bike Test, for more on this bike. So those are other future project bikes, new tests, riding impressions, uh, product tests, just all things two wheels and all things dirt bikes. Stay tuned. Have you used them for photos before? Yeah.